Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dice the milk up regularly while I just do as I feel, you know, do some art, spice some things up, try out some content, and you know, see what hits. Hi, I'm Ren and I have a special thing planned for y'all today. Okay, so I mean, you probably already have a sense of what we're going to do based on the video, because I mean, you clicked on it, you're, you're here because you chose to be here, but this dude. So, <laughs> as you probably see, I'm gonna be doing some Aladdin Sane makeup, and we might just do like a little channel update, life update, see how everything's going, but let's dive into the video then. But, so, the only thing about this video is it's gonna be a little hard for me, so again, bear myth with me, I've done, I've, like, I've done the Aladdin same makeup before, like, this would probably be my third time doing it. I mean, I've gotten a haircut, so I guess it's very, like, similar to the Aladdin same haircut, but, like, look at that. I mean, I'm not going to be able to slip back everything, but we'll do it to my style. Because in the past, I've done, like, um, versions of the Aladdin Sane makeup that look like David Bowie. But this isn't going to be one of them. Because, I mean, like, I kind of want to see what it would look like on myself. But I'm also kind of using the camera as a mirror. So it's going to be, like, it's going to be a lot of, like, looking back and forth. And again, the, the camera is mirrored. So, because it's like, it's weird because like, it's showing me what I would see in the mirror now, but that once I'm done with it, it like flips everything around. So I have to do his lightning bolt on my face correctly. But I mean, as you can see, I, I don't know when I will have face reveal time of recording this, but this is me with the haircut, which I think, I think it's very exciting. I'm like, I'm a little excited to be trying out a new haircut. I mean, time of recording, it's only been like one day. I don't know, maybe like more than one, but you know, oh shit. I, I should map out, wait, no, lightning bolts on this side i should map up lightning bolt on this side so that means this side is fine and i should map out the lightning bolt instead of concealing it all because i mean i don't i don't want to waste too much product but also like i then use things to our bounds but I mean, I'm happy that I cut my hair ultimately. I mean, it's it's a big change of pace from the giant mullet. Or I would, I would say it was more of a shag. Because, I mean, this is obviously a mullet now. But I really, I don't know. I was really, like, hiding behind the hair. And I never realized how much I was hiding behind the hair. Which, I mean, it's not too big of a problem, but it, when it gets to a point, it, it you do realize, like, um, this, is, this isn't the best method. I need to push myself out of my comfort zone and try something new. I mean, showing, filming, showing my face is already, like, something new. So, I mean, a little, little less than a year ago, I was showing just my ma my screen mask and that was the equivalent of showing my face on YouTube which I think it's funny to see how my channel where it's come from but and I mean as I like I don't know how my life will be currently like as time of recording but I I'm gonna set him up as a little reference Oh, I forgot mascara. Yeah, I'll have to 
I'll have to do a little break once I get the lightning bulb done to like get the best care out and love it to thick and all that stuff. But I think, oh yeah, I'm here and you, you need to be one of the, the makeup YouTubers. Here's the Sephora 10 hour perfection in shade light ivory. What the? I don't. Okay, I didn't even think about it's light ivory, but this is Spirit Halloween Grease paint, so that's that's always fun. Yeah, and I'm not good at drawing reverse lightning bolts, so we're we're just gonna go in with it. This is what I'm gonna have to use. Like, okay, so it, like lightning bolts go down like that, and yes. I am including my eyebrows in this. I'm not going to take them away because sometimes um, I will um, take my eyebrows away so I don't have to like worry about them. But this is not the case. <laughs> this is a little scary, but you know, we, we go with it. We, we do what David Bowie does. But I don't know. It's like. I would say everything's been a little weird on my end because my life has just been changing a lot and I don't quite know how to deal with it. I mean, I'm fine with it changing and I know I am in a state of change, of course, but it's just, it's been weird, man. Or audience. I don't want to refer to you in some just one gender term but it's it's been weird i don't know i had this whole like video plan where i was gonna do like life is better after high school but i didn't i don't quite want to do it because um i realized like i don't know it feel it kind of does feed into the notion of like you can only be really alive in high school which i don't even know who started that oh god this is less backwards and like maple is getting a little hard i don't know like i think you should just try to live your life for the fullest day to day without like thinking about peaking in high school and all that stuff i also the boat though i do like believe that it is possible for people to peak in high school. Am I doing this? This is, this is, I, what? It's like, okay, it's hard to talk about like something while like trying to figure out how to draw a lightning bolt backwards. Honestly, again, prop to all the Bowie fans or who just had to like try, pop well I bet David Bowie had someone doing some of this makeup but still it's like it's difficult makeup but I don't know it's just it's such an interesting notion that society has placed upon us like oh that's that's not a lightning bolt shade we're gonna we're gonna get out some stuff to wipe this off but well not completely but, oh yeah, there you go, you're getting a little more hair shots, but, I don't know. I mean, we live in such a weird world, where like, we're told to embrace change, but at the same time be afraid of it. Like, I mean changing my hair, like I've just gotten such a mixed reaction to it. I mean... I've gotten pretty positive ones from my friends, at least. I'm very thankful for that, but not on all ends, if you, if you get the drift. But, I don't know, I try to live by the philosophy as we have very limited time on this earth. This is not a good lightning bolt, but... We might as well make do with what we got, because 
I mean, I go by the, like, again, the philosophy of we don't know why we were placed here, so we might as well embrace it and just make the time we have here worth it. How do I extend this? I think that's how you extend the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt actually has to be more chunky, but this goes up too far. I can already tell you that. Cause it doesn't, it needs to go like more diagonal, but I don't know. It just, it feels very strange to be like looking ahead towards the future. Cause I mean, for the past like couple months, it felt like I was just preparing for the future and I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to come eventually. Like this will eventually be a thing. And now since it's here and it's actually a thing, it just, it feels weird. But I mean, if you move, it's a wonky lightning bolt. My phone is being a little wonky, but it gave me a chance to like get a better look at this. So it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Just, it needs a little help, that's all. And I need to have more faith in myself. But, yeah, I would just say, I don't know. It's been some strange times out here. Some strange times. And there's a plane going overhead. But, I would like to say, like, I've had, I don't know, I've had some trouble creating art recently. I know, like, it's a little unexpected after all those sketchbook tours I did, which I have a lot of fun doing sketchbook tours. It's just, I think for me at least, when I get hit with art block, I get hit with art block. I am smacked in the face with it. But, I mean, on this channel, I, I haven't really been shown with art block because it was like, it was a solid minute since I got art block. But I always found like, I get really bad art block when I'm going through like major life events. Which I mean makes sense. Cause like you can draw inspiration from it in some ways. It's just, it's very hard in others. Cause I mean, there's, there's only so much you can do. There is only so much you can do, but all I would say, I mean, I'm trying to take my own advice and like get out of art block by like just stepping away from art because I know I will eventually be fine with art. Hi, it will just be, it will be some time. So yeah, I'm just I'm taking my own advice. And I'm I know there's other stuff out there to explore, so I'm just exploring it. Cause this is just one medium and it doesn't define me. I mean obviously like you can see my work in other mediums in like video form stuff like that. Which I don't I mean, I talk about it on my art account a little bit, but like, in person at least, and stuff like that, like, I don't know, I consider it a little bit of a taboo subject, unless I'm with my, my close, close friends. Because, I don't know, there's something so personal about just putting these videos out on the internet. Okay. It's working. It's working. I need to watch more RuPaul Drag Race, speaking of which. Because it's like, I have time to do stuff now, but at the same time, it feels like I have no time. Because, I mean, one of the things I have been prioritizing over my art a little is hanging out with my friends, which I take no shame in that because, um, 
I am going to be leaving soon for my job. Oh, why is there a hair in the middle of my forehead? Stunning. For my job as a camp counselor. So I'm like, I'm figuring out what that's going to mean with YouTube. I mean, I've already like started stacking some videos. I don't know if I want to do like two week intervals or like something like that. But I guess we're just going to see how it does go. Because I want to like still provide some content and I have, I have fun creating content. And I mean, as you can see now, like I've been trying new content and like experimenting with it because I know there's like a bunch of stuff out there I have yet to try. And I mean, I I think it's cool to stay like with around with the topic surrounding art, but I also think that this. This channel is mainly meant to be like, not, for, not super experimental, but like experiment, experimental on my own part. Like it's not going to be pioneering or anything in the genre of YouTube, but it's going to be experimental for me at least. Because I've, I haven't tried like video content creation before. So the fact that I'm like creating content through video form is already something in itself. Like, that's something to be celebrated. Oh, I finally got that eyelash that was bugging me. But, so we got, like, the base of the lightning bolt down and a little bit of my foundation. Um, we're gonna get some of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, even though I personally don't, don't believe that does anything. Again, these are all like, you can tell like, my makeup hasn't been updated in a hot minute, but honestly, I don't care too, too much. I mean, I'm gonna be taking it off after I'm done filming this because what am I going to do in it? I'm just doing this and it's all it's all for fun the one time um when i did do like the full faced all that insane makeup i think it was like it was late at night oh you can see my scab how pretty um i actually fell asleep on my cat in it and she was not happy which i don't blame her to be honest because I wouldn't want to fall asleep in a full face of Aladdin saying makeup. Or, actually, I might be fine with someone falling asleep on me, but if I was a cat, I would not like that one bit. One bit at all. You know what? We're going to try something, and we're going to put a dot in the bit in here, and we're going to try to, like, blend it out a little, because he has that, like, pink eyelid effect, almost. Look at that. Look at that. It's slaying. But it was it was a funny time, but I think I mean I like only really experiment with makeup at night because it's less likely to be disturbed and also people don't really see me as much. But I like to do stuff like this. I also think it's, it's a little funny to like have the lips even though my, my lips are very defined and David Bowie he has like his lips are lower like they're just lower in proximity to his face because I know in all this stuff like his face is stretched out and I mean I'm I'm young my, my face hasn't stretched out fully quite yet or like some some bullshit like that but so it, it creates like a different effect than what my face can create. But what we're gonna go, what we're bringing you next is my Morphe palette. I know, have all your thoughts about Morphe, but I still do think their eyeshadows are very pigmented. And so I do like to use, like, okay, we're using the gray, this shade, Gorgeous Gangster. But 
it like it's just it's so pink and I think it per it's perfect for like because I'm gonna need to like blush my face up like look at that 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 is a lot insane like I will start saying ooh I who will love a lot insane battle cries and champagne it will turn British because of all this like look at that it is slaying it is slaying and I do not mean slay in a derogatory way but I don't know I like to do David Bowie's makeup because I think it's so interesting how he like switches through personas I mean I think that's a really admirable trait that he had because it is really hard to switch between aesthetics and personas and all that jazz. This is a little too pink though. I might go in with it more, but I also, but I, another secret I like to use is I can use like the smallest amount of grease paint, put it right here and dab it all out and get just this really nice pink that also really matches the lightning bolt. Like, look at that. That matches well. But, because I mean, since like, and since switching um, my overall vibes, and like, I guess you can call this trying a new aesthetic, especially with my hair. Like, I know it's only been the first couple of days, but it has been pretty hard. And like, I'm not a celebrity, I'm nothing like that, but I can see how it would be hard as a celebrity because people grow and to like you just from one certain thing. And then you decide, hey, this thing's not working for me. I wanna try something different. And you try it and you, your whole likelihood depends on if they like it or not, which, I think it's such an, I don't know, I think it's so interesting, like, the whole music industry and all that jazz, I mean, I don't know too much about it, I need to, like, deep dive more into this type of stuff, but, see, I just don't have the motivation to do stuff like that, like, I will eventually, but it's not in the moment currently, see, we're adding the color back to my face, for making me look human again instead of ultra pale. Though I have to say that these highlights are not good. <laughs> but that's why again when I say with experimentation, just go for it. Cause in my opinion, the worst thing that can come out of it is a good story, which you know, <laughs> this will be a good story in the future. <laughs> See, we're, we're slowly getting there, but I don't know, I just, it, though I have to say, it takes a lot of guts to change stuff up, and I think, I feel like we, we kind of brush off how much bravery and, like, it takes to be able to even, like, change in this way, but that's why I, like, I knew this before, but I think the le it, like life taught me a lesson again about changing and how life changes and you just gotta go with it and you gotta change in your own way too but again props to anybody else who's willing to change alongside life because again one of the coolest things you can do is change who you are completely in any shape or way Takes a lot of guts. I used, I think, oh, I forgot that I had, oh yeah, most of the black grease paint is used. <laughs> most of the black, black grease paint is used, but I used to use this for Jello makeup back in the day before I found out about some of the stuff going on ICP I mean I'm, I can't show or prove any of the allegations but 
I just, I believe the, the victims and it just, something doesn't sit right with me. That's all, that's all I can speak to it personally, is I'm just taking a step back and observing both sides of the story. Live. Honestly, it's such a weird time to be filming this too. It's like, it's around 1am, but I think, I mean, it makes... It makes sense. This is like a late night talk almost. Nothing too, too serious. I'm not revealing like my inner life secrets or anything like that. I think I did the opposite of what I was supposed to do because I think um, I'm supposed to contour like this, but <laughs> what happens happens. It's what you just gotta do with life. Leave all that I, I really like this though. I don't, I don't know. It's something about the overall Aladdin Sane makeup because I love Ziggy as a character and of course the album, but it's something about the Aladdin Sane makeup that just, it feels so right. Like I can't vocalize it even more. And I mean, Halloween Jack, like I think probably has one of my favorite overall designs, but like his makeup does not as extraordinary as like Aladdin Sane because Aladdin Sane is iconic even though when I have worn my Aladdin Sane shirt before people have called me Ziggy but I'm like you know what we'll just, we gotta move on we gotta brush it off okay we gotta get closer to my hairline too we're walking we're walking the edge y'all <laughs> Because when I went to the antique show, a lot of people were like, oh my god, it's Ziggy. And then I'm just like walking and I'm like, yep, you know me, love. This is obviously big old Ziggy shirt. Here we go, we're, we're going to do a little blending. Oh, you can see I so much this way. I'll just, that's the beauty. Face paint is I can just go in and rework it again. I mean, it literally is called paint for a reason. But I actually also plan on seeing um, the re release of the Ziggy Stardust movie. So I think I am going to do something like this when it comes time for the movie. Which that will be fun and exciting. I don't know how I got concealer on there, but that will be fun and exciting. Because I think, even though, of course, David Bowie's dead, I think that it's a pretty good time to be a David Bowie fan in, like, the present day. I mean, again, since he's still dead, it's hard, but they're giving us a lot of, like, exclusive content, at least. Maybe, maybe we might, we might try draw, drawing on lips with these and then like blending it out. It's hard for me to stay centered. Maybe I'll like underdraw my lips just a little. Or just, this isn't even like good drawing. We're just keep going in there. The whole purpose of it is to blend it out. say it worked. <laughs> Concealer lips. Very early 2000s. It does kind of give me like that little ring that he had around his face. Oh, I'll smooth it out. I know I'm like not looking at the camera but But this is just to make my lips look, it's like, it's working. This to fake my lip shape. I don't know what's going on here and this needs a little help. 
I should really be going to sleep soon, but you know what? This is fun. And I like David Bowie. And David Bowie is David Bowie. And we're, we're gonna just a little help from this. Just, just a little. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yep, that's Bowie. That is Bowie. Also featuring a little eyebrow slit, but that was the scary part. We have to put in the blue part of the Tristy Dusty lightning bolt. So I'm gonna use this, which I've used before. I'm gonna do all the highlighting after, of course, but I mean, there's not much to highlight, but you, you get the point. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I do it on the right side of the building. Oh, this is supposed to blend out. I forgot that. There we go. That looks a little better. There, that makes more sense. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna probably look a little over here. This is, this is stressing me out, just just a little, you know, just a, just a tad. But I know I need, I should really just get blue face paint. Cause it would be easier. I just don't feel like getting face paint just for one thing currently. But I should, I mean, I really should expand on, upon my face paint collection, but. And actually, I, I do need high, high quality face paint. But it looks good for what I have. Like, it's, it's working. It's working. Oh, such a pretty color. Such a pretty color, and I think it goes perfectly with the hairstyle. I mean, the hairstyle was inspired by him, of course, but it just goes very well with it. Might need just a little bit of cleanup. You know, life's messy. What else can I do? Just go along with it and see where it may take us. I feel like I'm just saying a bunch of random things about life and then the other half is just like, David Bowie, which that basically is my personality in a nutshell. Like, I do like thinking about the existence of life and like, oh, there isn't really quite reasoning behind it, but my thoughts behind our consciousness on this plane of existence. And then the rest of the time is just David Bowie. Which I mean, it's not too bad to be thinking about David Bowie. And I mean, I guess I share similar philosophies to him as well, so it's easier for me to think about him. And be like, oh, good old David Bowie. Because I'll just be like, silly little Bowie. And then I'll be thinking about how cool it is that we have such a unique opportunity to be able to express the human experience through art. And then I'll just be like, silly little Bowie again. I think I'm going to tone this back. Yeah, I'm just smudging it to my face. I know that. We're gonna do a little more definition now. Ooh. David Bowie. David Bowie. Love my silly little Bowie. I mean, now I think this probably puts it more into perspective with y'all and like my sketchbook tours. Cause this is why I am this way. But silly little Bowie. Okay. Now I'm just gonna use my fingers for the highlights. I know. Rest me how you want, but it is the easiest way to do it. 
Like, look at that shade. It's so pretty and reflective. It was right in my inner corner to make it, give it a little sparkle, a little razzle-dazzle. Try not to get face paint on it. Just a little tap-tap. Give it a little sparkle. I know. Latin saying always needs a little sparkle, a little highlighting of the brow bone. Oh, this, this color does go good. A little popping of it. I know you can't quite see it because of the whole lighting situation, which, again, I'm working to, like, improve my whole setup and all this stuff, but there's only so much I can do with a very limited budget, but I'm happy for what I got. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have, like, a decent phone thing, but I will be back with the eyeliner and the mascara. I am back with the stuff. <sighs> but it's almost sleepy time as you can tell but I'm almost in a full face of Bowie makeup okay I don't think he quite does this but this is what I like to do a little back to the inner corners just a little bit and I also like create an effect. I know this is just my, it's supposed to be like styled after me, but I do like to create a little effect with um, the eyeliner. Oh, that's a little too close to the eyeball. There we go. There we go. But I can create, like, I can use just, like, line weight and all that stuff to make one eye just a little bigger than the other. I know it looks less Bowie. Well, I mean, it looks Bowie like in the eyes, but I know it's like not originally what he intended. And since I got um, concealer and foundation on my eye eyelashes, I don't know why I wanted to say eyebrows. I just do like a little bit of mascara so we can just get that effect just a little touch touch and there we go Ooh. I know you really I see you can see how this eye really wanted to go dark I didn't get into all this but this is why we just roll with it makeup is makeup makeup will do makeup things there we go, that's a little toned back, but here we go, I'll move myself into better lighting. But here is the full Bowie makeup look. Yeah, I see that my um my fingers were getting in the way, but here here it is. And I'm not gonna move the phone. This is this is the lovely inside of my cabin again. But and there's a pool of water in I'm not driving my phone, but here's the full look. Um here's a little hair 360. But I really like how it turned out. I mean I've done this before. This is nothing super new, but I thought I wanted to try it with this hair because it's like the most old and insane hair. But I, I I'm satisfied with it. I think I really am. And let's see, I can do like the sometimes I like to pretend to do like the droopy belly eyes, like the eyes, or like sometimes I, I don't know, but always compared to looking like a cat a lot, and I've gotten called like a cat by my friends before, so it's like the little, like the cat eyes, the sad cat eyes, but yeah, well anyways, thank you for watching the video, this is, again, it's more of a casual, and just 
seeing how it goes, talking along the way. But thank you for watching my Aladdin Sane trial makeup. And make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. You know, because you want to join the family as we dive into this channel. Because I don't quite know what this channel is going to be. But I know it's at least going to be entertaining. Like, it's, this is not, might not, this is like more of a late night chill video instead of like the high energy video. But you know what? We mix it up every couple days. But anyways, I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.